Thank you, Jesus. Alpha, Omega, ancient of days, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your power, for your glory, for your mercy. I want to thank you, O oh God, for what you are set to do. What a glorious day. Thank you, O oh God, for your faithfulness. Jehovah, everything we are going to do today, let it be pleasing in thy sight, Alpha, Omega. I humble before you, there is none like unto you. Daddy, grant us a wonderful service. Grant us, O oh God, an outstanding and remarkable, O oh God, Jehovah, presence of yours. Daddy, move, O oh God, move on this holy mountain, move. Honor and glorify your name. Rebuke the devourer rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything, oh God, we're going to do today, Jehovah, take preeminence, take control. Take preeminence, take control. Take preeminence, take control. Rebuke, oh Lord, rebuke, rebuke. Oh Lord, rebuke. Rebuke every devourer, oh Lord, and let your name alone be honored and glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. On this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, Adonai, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, 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 in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Christ, Mali Braga Dayagaba, Masan Talimosikaba, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus, 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 in Jesus' name, Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end, do what you alone can do, honor and glorify your name, and let your name alone be honored and praised. In Jesus' name, have your way, O oh Lord. Thank you for a wonderful day. Thank you, God, for a wonderful atmosphere and for everyone that will be blessed, Jehovah, that it wear us, O oh God, with that righteousness that you have intended, O oh Lord. Let us receive the benefit, O oh Lord, of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your holy name. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Bring anyone and everyone you have intended, O oh God, to this glorious mountain to honor and glorify your name in Jesus' name. There is none like unto you. Adonai, there is none. There is none like unto you. El Shaddai, there is none. Be thou exalted, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I thank you, O oh God, for everyone that will leave this mountain with a testimony today. Day. in Jesus name thank you Abba Father thank you thank you ancient of days thank you beginning and the end thank you in the name of Jesus Christ I honor you O Lord I honor you be thou exalted Lord and do that which you alone can do to the glory and honor of your name I give you praise with thanksgiving in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name I've decreed amen so shall it be amen so shall it be amen so shall it be hallelujah praise God I want to thank God for everyone under the sound of my voice i want to appreciate the lord i do not take this hour or this time for granted apologies for the late starting a quick assignment i needed to fix up and i thank god that god is permit god has permitted this hour and this time because there is somebody out there the lord would reach out to powerfully whatever you may be somebody join me let us bless the name of god let us praise the name of god Let's honor the first and the last, the beginning and the end, for there is none like unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, on this holy mountain, we worship the Lord with a triple P, that is P, 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 praise, preaching, prayer. And I'm expecting everyone in Jesus' name to join us to praise this God, to allow the word of God to have its way and to allow the grace of God to stay permanently in our heart in Jesus' name. I see God making a way for you and for me and I see God granting you and I peace beyond the human comprehension. So I am trusting God that that person that is under the sound of my voice in dear need of peace and joy, receive it today. The peace and joy will be our trademark throughout this year. I believe God so much in the name of Jesus Christ. Before I play the song of peace and joy, like some people have told you, I'm going to continue to play this as long as grant, uh, grants me the grace. My prayer right now is that my God will wipe away the tears of somebody who is crying on this holy mountain. So if you are in tears, I want you to know God will wipe away your tears if you do not mind. Join me as we worship this God. Hallelujah. Before we prophesy peace and joy, I want to tell you God will wipe away all your tears. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God is able. My God is able. Yahweh is his name. Somebody enjoy me and say he's a faithful God. He's the same God. He's the same God who was there for you in the midnight hour. In the midnight hour. He's the same God. He's the same God. Jehovah. He's the same God. He's the same God. He's the same God. It's the same God, Jehovah. My great provider. Tell me why, why you're giving up on God. God. Man of God, woman of God, tell me why. Tell me why, tell me why you're giving up, up on Him. 
Tell me why one day, tell me why, why you're you giving up, up on God. Hold on to your way, hold, hold on. Change is on the way, if it's in a hole. Some cry, God is in control. What is the problem? Oh, you know God will not tarry one day more. He loves you. Hold on to your feet. As a wife away, it is God will not lie. Oh, it is well. Somebody join me and say, it is well. We pass through. We pick it up for the night. Christ's gonna come in the morning. You don't have, you don't have to cry no more. No more. Hold God, oh God by His word. He's gonna, gonna do, do what He says. Lift your hands and give Him praise. Oh, in a oh, stop crying. You could yeah, God is in control. What is the problem? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know God will not tell you what the more beloved will Run to your faith, it's a wipe away, you think God will not lie, oh stop crying, oh, God is in control, what is the problem, you know God will not tarry, oh beloved, hold on to your faith, wipe away, you think God will not lie, I got the in my It is well. It will be well with you and me. It is well with my soul. I know you've been crying. Oh, I, I know now. I know you've been wounded. Yeah, but Papa it's okay. God. I know you've been broken, but I somebody join me and say too, too many, many are broken, broken hearted. Believe in me, oh, you will all come. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody say I'm the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for me. It's Yahweh. Forget I come to see. Don't forget I raised the dead. Don't forget nothing that my Yahweh cannot do. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody wipe away your tears. And lift up your voice and say, It is in a hole. It won't stop crying. God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tarry. One memo here the day. Hold on to your face. Somebody wipe away, wipe away. God will not lie. No, 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 no. It is in a house. Stop crying. God is in control. What is the problem? Somebody say, I know God will not tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It's a wipe away, wipe away. God will not lie. Somebody say with me, yeah, yeah. it is well. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God punish the devil, punish, 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 punish. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether the devil likes it or not, the joy and peace that the Lord has promised myself and you will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, my Father is faithful. Your God is faithful. He will do it again. Hallelujah. Give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. I don't know his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see the peace of God, the joy of God. I fail to worry. Hallelujah. About the things that I see. I've got my peace. I've got my joy. Even when people say to me, Brother, you are slow. I've got my peace. I have my joy. He will never let me down. Got my peace in you, Lord God. I've got my joy. Daddy, I've got my peace. I've got my joy. My life, my life. It depends on you, Jesus. 
Rise in your hands, Adonai God. I raise, I raise my hands in surrender to you, Lord God. Oh, give me peace. Oh, give me joy. Hey, Adonai, depends on you, Yahweh. Somebody say, my future lies in your hands. Adonai, Lord, I will raise, oh Lord, my hands in surrender to you, Lord God. Adonai, give me peace, give me God. Oh, I feel too worried about the things that come across my way. Because I've got my peace in you, Daddy. I've got my joy. When people say to me, Brother, you are slow. I've got my peace in you, Daddy. Daddy, I have my joy. I will wait for my God. Yeah, yeah, I Somebody say, I've got my peace in you. Got my joy. I've got my peace in you, Lord. I've got my joy. Somebody say, my life, my life, oh Lord. Depends on you, Yahweh. My future, Lord, lies in your hands. Somebody join me and say, I raise, I raise my hand, oh Lord. Do you, Yahweh, that is? Yes, Lord, my life, my life, I do not see. Depends on you, Yahweh. My future, I do not God. Lies in your hands, somebody tell me and say, I raise, I raise my hand, oh Lord, to you, Yahweh. Give me joy. Oh yes, Lord, my life, my life, I do not Depends on you. Depends on you, Yahweh. My future, Adonai God, lies in your hand. Listen to me, I raise, I raise, I raise my hand. Oh, oh, oh Lord, to you, Yahweh, Adonai God, give me joy. Ale go sikama, ura ba 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 ne dwele ketelie, ura ndani ma ebra ketelie. I have my peace in you, O oh God. I have my joy. In the bread of Oscar, man, the bread of Tenio, Mosaka, the Bali, Ganana, Ganana, the Bali, the Bali, the Bali. I've got my peace in you, O oh Lord. I've got my joy. My red, 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 red. Yeah. And let that be. I have my peace in you, O oh Lord God. I have my joy. I've got my peace in you, O Lord. I have my joy. Oh, I have my joy. Oh, my life. It's on you, Adonai. Oh, my future. Depends on you, depends on me. My future, I don't know, Lord, lies in your hand. I raise, I raise, I raise my hand. Oh Lord, to you, Yahweh. Give me joy, Baba. Oh, my 
Adonai God. It's in joy, Adonai God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red back at Wherever you may be, please join me as we plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, I plead with you, man of God, woman of God, if you believe in the peace and the joy of God, for one full year, for more than even one year, what am I saying? For more than one year, our world has been plagued. Our world, our community, our environment, fathers, mothers, children have been plagued by one so-called pandemic. We will also, as the Holy Spirit leads us, prophesy unstoppable, undeniable joy until everything in Jesus' name, until everything receives the peace and the joy of God. Somebody join me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy, prophesy. Let's start by pleading the blood in our usual way. Let's plead the blood, let's plead the blood, let's plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's plead the blood, let's plead the blood. The precious blood of Jesus Christ by fire, by force. Somebody join me, plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. That only that which God has intended, only the things that God has intended will take preeminence, will take control. By fire, by force. By fire, by force. Only the things that God has intended. Somebody join me, plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. The power of God is here, the mercy of God is here. Something is going to happen today. Something is going to happen today. This today is a power service, and I believe that somebody, the power of God is coming through for you. The mercy of God, the glory of God, the power of God is coming through for you, and nothing can hinder what God is about to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, My that Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. Join me in Jesus' name. Join me in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. Hallelujah. Take over, take control. Jaka toso. Ora ba 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 ba. Le trele ke teli mo si kaba. Endrele ke teli o. Ora ba shantali mo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right in the grave, Jesus is Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. The power of God is moving. I want to thank God for every man of God, the woman of God on this mountain because God is about to do something remarkable in, on this mountain for somebody. In Jesus' name. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy, prophesy. In Jesus' name. There are different garments made available by, by the salvation Jesus procured for you and me several garments and today one of those garments will be yours as many of those garments that you are in need of the lord will make your portion on this holy mountain today in the name of jesus christ somebody join me as we type the word garments of salvation garments of salvation what is that which you are in dear need as you embrace the true salvation of god the garments that you need will be worn on you the garments that you need will be worn on you the garment that you need will be worn on you in the name of Jesus Christ. There's so much made available by the power of salvation. By the power of salvation. As you put on, as you truly contact the salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you truly, as you fully, as you fully contact in Jesus' name. As you fully contact. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you fully contact La Shanta, Ekadele Mosikaba, Ebreke Limatali, 
Manzale ba ketelios. O rabba baba o la ketelimosi kaban zeke libra. Robba baba baba. Roka baba baba. Reketeli bake li matoso. Reketeli bake li matoso. O bare e kalimon zikatali. I see the glory of God, the power of God, the mercy of God. I see the glory of God, the power of God, the mercy of God. Masha kaba. Rabba baba. Lidale gadalabos. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Somebody join me. I will benefit from the garments of salvation. Garments. Garments of salvation. Garments. Garments of salvation. In Jesus' name. And one, one of the very true presentation of that garment is peace and joy. Hallelujah. Excuse me. One of the very presentation of the garment is what peace and joy. And I know somebody. The glory of God, the power of God. The mercy of God, the glory of God, the power of God, the mercy of God will bring about in Jesus' name that those things that is needed for you, for me, for my household. Those needs in Jesus' name, the garments of what salvation. Somebody prophesy. Those who need healing today get said because healing will be made available not by mind or by power, but by the Spirit of God. Oh, yes. Healing will be made available not by mind or by power, but by the Spirit of God. For as many that are ready to catalambano, as many that are ready to koinonia with what God has in stock in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. Holy Ghost, take over, take control, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reka ba 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 ba, zeke telimo. Reka ba ba ba, zeke telimo. O baleke telimo sikaba. O ndrala katali. Every obstacle, every obstacle, every mountain, starting to stop your flow with God. Trying to disconnect me and you. Trying to stop salvation. Trying to stop the joy of salvation. Trying to stop the garments of sal salvation manifesting your life. The garments. Trying to stop the benefit of salvation in you and in me. Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire scatter destroy. In Jesus name. Anything trying to stop the, the proceeds, the blessings of what the garment of salvation anything that is trying to hinder those things oh lord take away oh lord destroy in jesus name prove yourself in my life as being what strong jesus is lord somebody join me jesus is lord jesus is lord jesus is lord one of the blessings of the garment of salvation came upon saul that was exterminating or killing christians if god could make saul to wear the garment of salvation. Tell me why you cannot wear the garment of salvation today. If only you come to God in true repentance. No matter the nature of sin that is in your life. No matter the nature of sin that is in your life. If today truly you will embrace salvation and put on the garment of salvation. If you put it on in Jesus name. No sin. No sin can stand. Because the power of sin will be broken. The blood of Jesus is effective. The power of sin will be completely broken. The power of sin will be completely broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of sin will be completely broken. In your life and in the life of anyone and everyone that is contesting with you. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The power of, of salvation. Look at it in Acts chapter 9 verse what 15. Acts chapter 9 verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. Hallelujah. He is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and the kings and the children of Israel. He is a chosen vessel. One of the garments of salvation upon the life of Saul, all of a sudden, brought about the true destiny brought about the true purpose of god in his life somebody today i pray that you will wear the garment of salvation you will wear out of the garments you pick the garments that is needed for you somebody that is sick today then one of the garments of salvation you need is the garment of healing all this is contained in salvation so if you are here now each time you have been believing god you have been praying but each time you put in effort into that business or that venture, it doesn't come out the way you want. Then the part of the salvation, the garment of salvation you need is the, is the garment of blessings. The garment of favor, the garment of blessing. 
make sure you pick the right size make sure you pick what you need and the right size for you don't pick what is not meant for you the garments will be presented your job and my job is to make sure you put on that which you know is relevant to you that which you know will take you to the purpose and plan of god or bring out the plans and the purpose of god in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Chosen vessel. Somebody type the word chosen vessel. Do you know that you are a chosen vessel unto God? My God wants to use you to, to heal the sick, raise the dead. My God wants to use you to provide for the less privileged, those in need. My God wants to use you in communities and nations. My God wants to use you worldwide. The garment of salvation will bring out that part of you. The garment worn on Saul made us to know that he is not only a chosen vessel unto God, but is meant to bear the name of God, not just to any kind of people, to the Gentiles, to the kings, and to the children of Israel. The, the garment of salvation brought that out. I don't know what is recessive in your life today. If you can locate the right garment of salvation and put it on, that which is recessive in your life will be dominant. If you are in need of the fruit of the womb, just locate the right garment of salvation. If you are in need of a job, locate the right garment of salvation. If you are subjected to one form of addiction or the other and you are trying to you know come out of that addiction the more you're trying to come out of the addiction the more it looks as if the addiction is being rubbed in then right now locate the right garment of salvation and put it on as you locate it and put it on something is going to happen in the spirit realm and it will it will reflect in the physical in the name of jesus christ i thank god for everyone god is using on this holy mountain to be relevant and to also be a blessing as you're sharing the broadcast god who see in heaven god who knows and god who sees in the secret openly reward you in jesus name for as many lives that have been blessed by your kind by your kind gesture in the name of jesus christ the lord lift you up the lord honor you the lord bless you the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you in the name of jesus christ and my prayer is that you will not leave this mountain without encountering god in every capacity needed you will not leave this mountain the way you came you will not leave this mountain without encountering god in every capacity that is needed in the name of jesus christ holy ghost power fire holy ghost fire power Holy Ghost, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. There is something the Lord is beaming to me. Psalm 126, please come with me. Psalm 126, in Jesus' name. Psalm 126. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. The Lord say, I should take you to Psalm 126. There is this garment of salvation you're going to put on that will enable Psalm 126. Please come with me. Psalm 126. Psalm 126, the part that the Holy Spirit is beaming to me for somebody is the first verse. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Somebody type the word captivity. Captivity. The garment of salvation you're putting on today will break any and every captivity. Any and every captivity. Somebody, the captivity upon your life, the captivity upon your household, as you hold on in Jesus' name, as you hold on to the garments of salvation, every captivity will be broken. Sometimes people are under captivity. They don't know they are under captivity. Saul did not know. Saul thought he was the one stopping people from getting into, into captivity. He thought that the Christians were bringing people into captivity unknown to him that he was the one in captivity not until the garment of salvation was worn upon him then he knew that he was the one in captivity and that the people that he was stopping from being entering into captivity were being saved from captivity he now knew that's why he repented instantly today every captivity of your life every captivity of your household in jesus name as you locate the garment of salvation for your son as you locate the right garment of salvation for your daughter as you locate the right garment for your womb as you locate the right garment for your business as you locate the right garment for the work of the ministry 
as you locate the right garment for your family, for your loved ones. In Jesus' name. As you locate the right garment for your community and nation. May the glory of God be activated. May the power of God be activated. Something is happening here. Somebody. The power of captivity. And I'm focusing on any form of addiction whatsoever. Any form of addiction. Any form of addiction. Contrary to the will of God. Any form, every form. Every form, any form of addiction. In Jesus' name. Let that yoke be broken. Let that yoke be broken. Any addiction. Every addiction. In Jesus' name. Let it be broken by fire, by force. There is something I want to show somebody. Psalm 130. Psalm 130. From verse 1, he says, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Somebody join me. Please type the word, Let thy ears be attentive. Let thy ears be attentive. Let thy ears be attentive. One thing the garment of salvation will do, it will empower your, your voice to enter into the ears of God. It will empower your voice to be dominant in the mind of God. Let my voice, let my voice be attentive. Let my, let my cry be attentive. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication, I mean to say. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you are not putting on a garment of salvation, if you are not putting on the garment of salvation that can include the righteousness of Christ, that can include a lot of things, then your prayer and my prayer cannot enter into the ears of God, cannot enter into the heart of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let, O oh God, your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. For how long have you been on that prayer Monday? Today, you will receive conviction. Today, the Lord will respond. Today, the Lord will answer and everyone will know God is at work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, in Jesus' name, we do not come with, with enticing words of men. No, we do not come with enticing words of men. We do not come with any form of, you know, fallacy. We're just coming with the word of God the way it is. We're just presenting the power of the word of God. You see, God was telling Moses something. He said, listen, now you will know whether I am capable of carrying out my word or not. You will know. You see, the word of God, we are presenting something in your life. That's it. It will just be dominant in your life. It will just be dominant. Then you will know that when God speaks, he does not fail. When God speaks, he does not fail. When God speaks, he does not fail. Hallelujah. The word of God is yea. The word of God is amen. The word of God is yea and amen. He says it, he brings it to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Man of God, are you with me? Are you with me, woman of God? Are you with me? When he says it, he brings it to pass. Numbers chapter 11 verse 23. Numbers 11 verse 23. And the Lord said unto Moses, Is the Lord's hand wax short? Thou shalt see now whether my word shall come to pass unto thee or not. Is the hand of the Lord wax short? Somebody join me, type the word, the hand of the Lord is not short. The hand of the Lord is not short. If you are putting on the right garment, you will find out that the hand of the Lord is not short. Thank you everyone helping us to type the scriptures. You will find out the hand of God is not short to save. The hand of God is not short to save. You only need the proper garment. You only need the right garment. And you will find out that the hand of the Lord is always ready to deliver. The hand of the Lord is always ready to set free. The hand of the Lord is always ready. The hand of the Lord is there, ready to attend to you and me. Somebody please type, the hand of the Lord is not short. Today, in Jesus' name, somebody, God will prove to you. God will prove to you and your household that his hand is not too short to deliver you. That his word must surely come to pass. As you put on the right garment, the hand of the Lord is not short to deliver. The hand of the Lord is not short to save. The hand of the Lord is not too heavy. It's not too heavy. It's not too heavy to respond to you and me. The hand of the Lord 
only the right garment of uh, the right garment of salvation we need to put on in Jesus name only the right garment of salvation we need to put on in order to what appropriate or to attract or to receive from the hand of God set to deliver from the hand of God set to save in the name of Jesus Christ Moses you will know whether I am capable of making what I have said a reality or not you will know not only Moses will know you and I will know Putting on the right garment of what? Salvation. We will know. Somebody, I pray that today will be meaningful to you and your household. I pray that today in Jesus' name, your household, yourself, your household will receive from the Lord, you know, in a dimension that cannot be fathomed by human mind. In Jesus' name, the word of the Lord is here and amen. May I quickly say something for somebody wearing the salvation, the, the right clothes. If you are wearing the right clothes of salvation, 23, 23 verse 19 of the book of Numbers. 23 verse 19 of the book of Numbers, chapter 23 verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said it, and he shall not do it. Or had he spoken, and shall not make it good. Or shall not make it good. As he spoken and shall not make it good. Somebody join me and say, God will make it good. I want to tell you that when somebody prophesied into your life this year and said, Happy New Year. I want you to know that God will make this year good for you. With the right clothes, with the right garment of salvation, in Jesus' name, this year will be a good year for you. God will make it good. Shall he not make it good? God will make it good. Somebody prophesied. You only need to wear the right garment in Jesus' name. Put on the right garment. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the right garment of salvation. And God will make this year good in Jesus' name. Everything must concur. God will make this year good. God has made this year good. For you, for your household, for your children, God has made this year good. Nothing in Jesus' name can work contrary. God has made this year good in Jesus' name. This year will be good to you. This year will be good to your family. This year will be good to your loved ones. This year will be good in your business. This year will be good to our community, to anyone, everyone related to us by blood. This year will be what? A good year. Whether the enemy likes it or not, this year will be a good year. In Jesus' name, no regrets for you this year. No regrets for you. No carryover in Jesus' name this year. Start to prophesy with me, man of God, prophesy. Start to prophesy with me, woman of God, prophesy. This year will be great whether the enemy likes it or not. This year will be remarkable. This year will be great. It will be remarkable. In the name of Jesus Christ. This year will be good. This year will be great. This year will be great. This year will be good. Whether the devil likes it or not. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is saying it will not be so. In Jesus' name will not be there. In Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Spirit. Anything walking contrary, anything prophesying something differently will not be there when God is doing it for you, when God is doing it for me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody join me and say, God will make it good. God will make it good in Jesus' name. God will make it good. God will make it good in Jesus' name. God will make it good. Rakanda laba. Oh, Rabba. Tell him, God will make it good. In the name of Jesus Christ. God will make it good. God will make it good. Is there anybody under the sound of my voice that people are cursing? Let me tell you, curses has nothing to do with you. Curses will come but cannot enter. Why? Because of the garment of salvation you're wearing. Curses will come but cannot permeate because of what? The garment of salvation that you're wearing. Hallelujah. Because of what? The garment of salvation you're wearing. Curses will come cannot permeate. It's not possible. Curses will come cannot permeate because of the garment of salvation you're wearing. Curses will come but cannot permeate. Man of God, woman of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy, I prophesy that anyone that is cursing right now, the Lord turn all their curses to blessing because of what the garment of salvation that you're putting on. Hallelujah. Because of what the garment of salvation you're putting on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27. Proverbs 20, verse 27. Hallelujah. Proverbs 20, verse 27. Hallelujah. Praise God. Proverbs 20, verse 27. The spirit of the man is a can is a is, is the candle of the Lord. The spirit of the man. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Searching all the inward parts 
of the belly, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Somebody, as you put on the right garment, your spirit will be enabled. Your spirit will be enabled. That which is inside the SIM card, inside the phone, inside your device, is enabled with the right internet. With the right internet. Praise God. Somebody under the sound of my voice, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. Somebody in Jesus' name, as you put on the right garment right now, the spirit of God start to what? The, the, as you put on the right garment, may your spirit become, in Jesus' name, as described, may your spirit become the candle stick of God. In Jesus' name, Malaga dalagaba, O Zakatali Mosikaba, Ebreke Libantali, O Rababa Masake Telimosikaba. Manga dala gadala gaba, mandala gadala gaba, o raba baba ko zake telimo, o bareke telimo sikaba, o ndelika delimosi, ijale bareke teli, o raga delimo sikaba, endrele baran talimo, o zaga gaga gaga, malaga gaga dala gaba, re gaga gadala gaba, raba katoso, o raba ba endrele ge delima ko sikatali, o bareke telimo sikaba, in Jesus' name, wherever you may be, may the power of God, the glory of God, the mercy of God. Ye kaya dala gadaya gaba. Ye kaya gadala gadaya gaba. Mashan talimo sikaba. The garment of what? The garment that God has worn unto you in Jesus name. May you profit with it. Ay ay ay. Masha ke telibakonzi. Ibrale ke telimo sikatali. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say that garment. Ma libra kosi. Ma libra kosi kayaba. Mashan talimo sikateli. O rabba baba. May you profit with that word. May you profit with that garment. So powerfully. So grow gloriously so powerfully so gloriously in the name of jesus christ malagadala bare matosi malagadala gabare matosi kaba endrele keteli mosi or baba are you hearing me man of god woman of god in jesus name may your spirit stand out may your spirit stand as you're putting on the right garment you can imagine with the right garment the spirit of saul became the candle of god the spirit of saul became the candle of god and could bring brightness or light or the illuminance such that darkness cannot comprehend somebody if you wear the right garment today in jesus name proverb chapter 20 Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27 will be a reality for you too. Your spirit will come alive. Your spirit will become the candle of God. Your spirit will become active. And in Jesus name, profit you will make for God. Profit you will make. Profit you will make for God. Profit you will make in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. Somebody join me as we start to round up this session. I will say by tomorrow, my tomorrow will be greater than today. My tomorrow, your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. Somebody join me. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. Join me to prophesy. In Jesus' name, join me to do what? Prophesy. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. Not by might, not by power, but by the grace of God and by the salvation, by the garment of salvation we are putting on in the name of Jesus Christ. By the garment of what salvation we are putting on in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In the name of Jesus, I soak any man, I soak every man, I soak every man, any man under the sound of my voice with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I say, Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ, and bring to pass your plans, your purpose, your purpose, your plan. Bring to pass your plan, your purpose, your purpose, your plan. Do it, O God, that men will fear in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, O God, for every man that will be blessed on this holy mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, Manga dalagaba, Ebreke kato si kaba, On dalika delie, Ibra daliko si kaba, Shake telios, O raba baba ba. Thank you, O God, for life. Thank you, O God, for everyone that you are blessing. Thank you, O God, for fulfillment. Thank you for enlargement. Of course, we give you praise in Jesus' name. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We have decreed. Amen. Amen and amen. Wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, please, in the name of Jesus Christ, put in garments. 
Please put in garments. The word garments. Put in garments because we want to look at garments of salvation. So put in garments. The word garments. Put in garments for us. Garments. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please put in the word garments. Because somebody, you're not leaving this mountain without the right garments worn on you by the Holy Spirit. Garments, the word garments. May the Lord put on the right garments on you. May the Lord put on the right garments on you and your household. Garments. Somebody under the sound of my voice, the word garments. May the Lord wear you with the right garments right now. Somebody put in the word garments in Jesus' name. Somebody put in the word garments right now in Jesus' name. The right garments, I beseech that the power of God, the mercy of God, will put on somebody today. In Jesus' name, garments, the right garments, garments in Pura, garments, garments in Pura. This particular one we are looking at doesn't appear in singular form. It's always in Pura, garments. Thank you for everyone that is typing the Lord, honor you and bless you. The word garments, my God is putting on garments on people. Not just one type, but different types. Garments and everyone typing, I soak with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Everyone God is using in any and every capacity. May God who see in the secret openly reward you in Jesus' name. The word garments, the word garments, God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. The word garments, praise God. Please, somebody under the sound of my voice very quickly. How would you explain the word garments? Man of God, woman of God, under the sound of my voice, how would you explain the word garments? The word garments, hallelujah. How would you explain the word garments? God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. Punish, 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 punish. How would you explain the word garments? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The word garments. How would you explain the word garments? In the name of Jesus Christ. Make it as simple as possible. Somebody coming to the first for to the broadcast for the first time, I mean to say. Make it so simple that they can relate to it and they can be blessed. Garments. The word garments. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. How would you explain the word garments? Spiritual covering like praise, joy, righteousness. God bless you, Masha Wilson. So Masha Wilson has opened the floor. Praise God. Spiritual garments like praise, joy, and uh, righteousness. Praise God. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. So in your view, how would they explain the word garments? How would they explain the word garments? Man of God, woman of God, how would they explain the word garments? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How would they explain the word garments? I have a very limited time for this session. We're going into another session very, very soon. So please, the word garments, how would you explain? God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. Punish, 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 punish. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ratamo Sikaba. Endrele Keteli Ba Ketelios. Oza Keteli Man Katali. And the garments of what? The garment of salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The garment of salvation. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. The garment of salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Adonai. Thank you. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Alpha Omega. Thank you. Thank you, merciful God. Thank you. Clothed with righteousness. Praise God. Clothed with righteousness, says Athna FD. Clothed with righteousness. How would they explain the word garments? When she's saying clothed with righteousness. Praise God. How would they explain the word garments? Praise God. Garments. Garments. Hallelujah. Garments. Garments. Praise God. Garment is, is a piece of clothes. Exactly. That's where I'm going. Okay, that's the kind of thing. Just to explain, let's start from known to your notes. Sandra, oh, thank you, Sandra. Just making us know that it's a piece of clothes one needs, one can put on. That's what we are saying. A covering. A piece of clothes covering. So we are looking at the basic word, but of course, also the spiritual meaning is beautiful also. But thank you, Sandra, for typing that garment is a piece of, of clothing. Thank you. I put on the garment of, of praise for heaviness. Thank you. Marsha Wilson is typing. Clothes 
me, O Lord, with thy with the garments of thy salvation. Okay, Basha and Winston, not only you, may God clothe each and everyone on this broadcast now with what? The garments of salvation. In Jesus' name, the garments of salvation. May God clothe each, each and every one of us with it in Jesus' name. Okay, so we are looking at the word garments. Praise God. Garments. How would you explain the word garments? How would you explain the word garments? Praise God, praise God, praise God. How would you explain the word garment? Okay. Praise God. Somebody type the word garden. Garden. Please type the word garden. Garden, Garden of Eden. So I'm talking about that. Not God, God, Garden of Eden. So the word garden. That's what I'm talking about. Garden of Eden. I'm talking about garden. Where you have your garden, where you plant your stuff. I'm talking about that garden. God bless you. Yes, the one Marsha Wilson is typing now. That's what I'm talking about. Praise God. Let our garments always be white. Okay. Thank you, Marsha Wilson. But that's the garden I'm talking about. Garden where you plant stuff. Wearing the full armor of God. That's very smart of you. God bless you. God bless you, Athna FD. Okay? God, that, that's wearing the whole armor of God is the spiritual implication of, of, of um, garments. Okay? So that's what Athna FD is typing. Please type the word garden. God bless you. Everyone typing the word garden. Thank you for typing the word garden. And I've explained the garden is the one they are typing now. I mean where you plant stuff, where things are planted, okay? Where things are planted, hallelujah. Where things are planted, hallelujah. Where things are planted, praise God. Masa talimo sikaba, endrele ke baraga dalimo, osake barake telimo sikaba, in the name of Jesus Christ. So the word garments, the word garments, God punish, the devil punish, punish, punish. Type the word garments. Sorry, garden, I mean to say garden. We've left garments, we are now on garden. The word garden, praise God. The word garden. Now, how would you explain the word garden? I've explained so that I want somebody to know what we are talking about. It's not a guesswork. And you see where we are going, praise God. The word garden, how would you explain the word garden? How would you make somebody know what we mean by garden? Start from basic and then you can enter into the spiritual meaning, okay? Please start from basic understanding, then enter into spiritual meaning. Praise God. The word garden. Please, the word garden. The word garden. Praise God. How would they explain the word garden? Mark James, God bless you. Yes, that's the garden we are talking about. Mark James, God bless you. So the word garden, how would you explain the word garden? Man of God, woman of God, how would you explain the word garden? How would you explain the word garden? Very quickly, the word garden. How would you explain the word garden? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The word garden. How would you explain the word garden? Very quickly. The word garden, how would you explain the word garden? Man of God, woman of God, how would you explain the word garden? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God is moving. I see, I feel it. The power of God is mighty on this, on this mountain. I feel it, I feel it. Garden. I feel it, I feel it. Garden. I feel it on this holy mountain, the word garden. God, God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. The word garden. How would they explain the word garden? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The word garden. Seed time and harvest time, says Athna FD. Garden. Seed time, harvest time, says, um, says Athna FD. So in garden, she's signed to say that garden encompasses of seed time and then harvest time. You find that in a garden. Garden is a place where both will take place, seed time and harvest time. And I pray that every seed time and every harvest time of your life, my life, may the Lord in Jesus' name make it a reality. 
make it a reality for you, for me, for our household. The okay, seed time and harvest time, God make a reality. Garden. How would you explain the place of a place called garden? How would you explain a place called garden? Very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. You will honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, God, will honor you more than what you can ever imagine or think. In your garden, your garden will not be like any other garden, but it will be much more productive, beautiful, powerful than what? The garden of Eden. Because of the clothing, because of the garment God will wear upon it. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are going to see how garden relates to garment of salvation. Praise God. How would you explain the word garden very quickly? How would you explain the word garden very quickly? Thank you, Jesus. How would you explain the word garden very quickly? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Everyone typing amen every time. Everyone putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer. I soak with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. How would you explain the word garden? The word garden. How would you explain it? How would you explain the word garden? Garden. How would you explain the word garden? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word garden. Nishai barikatelimosi. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. The word garden. Okay. My time is up for the word garden. Now we go to the word captivity. Somebody type the word captivity. So three words. We are looking at the word garments. The word garden. And we are looking at the word captivity. Somebody type the word captivity. In Jesus name. The word captivity. And any and every captivity of your life, my life, the Lord overturned, the Lord uproot. Captivity in Jesus' name. Any and every, every and any captivity of any kind, of any type, the Lord uproot, the Lord scatter. The Lord scatter, the Lord uproot in Jesus' name. Captivity of any kind, captivity of any kind, of any type. Thank you, Marsha Wilson. Exactly, that's what we are talking about, captivity. That's what we are talking about, captivity. Please type the word captivity in Jesus' name. Type the word captivity by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please type the word captivity. Go labra katosi. Re gaga gaga o santali mosi kayabateli. Rabba keteli mosi kayabateli. O rabba shanda la gada la gaba. Ragada la gada la gaba. Re keteli mosi kaba o bra ketelios. Please type the word, type the word in Jesus' name. Type the word, type the word, type the word. God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. Type the word, type the word. Holy Ghost, fire, power, power, fire. Holy Ghost, take control, take preeminence, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma kabo zikateli kali bron zikayaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take control, take over, take over, take control. In Jesus' name, take control, take over. Please type the word captivity. Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. Prophesy in Jesus' name, captivity. And every hand that is typing captivity, the Lord uproot captivity for you, for your household, for your loved ones, for your lineage. The Lord uproot completely in Jesus' name. The word captivity, the Lord uproot in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, captivity, the Lord uproot in Jesus' name. Please type the word captivity. May God Almighty who see in the secret openly reward each and everyone. Type in the word captivity in Jesus' name. Who says it and it comes to pass if daddy God has not commanded. Captivity will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. It will not be the portion of our loved ones and household members in Jesus' name. Captivity will not be our portion in Jesus' name because affliction shall not repeat itself a second time. Anyone planning any form of affliction for you, for me, for our household, they have failed. They have what? They have failed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone planning in Jesus' name, anyone planning any form of captivity for you and my household, they have what? They have failed. They have failed woefully in Jesus' name. They have failed woefully. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, how would you quickly explain the word captivity? How would you explain the word captivity? Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. Prophesy, woman of God, prophesy. Any and every captivity. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy any and every captivity. Prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy any and every captivity. 
any and every captivity. Prophesy in Jesus' name. Captivity, captivity shall not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Any and every captivity. Your freedom taken away. That is what Marsha Wilson is saying. Captivity. Your freedom taken away. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Your freedom will not be taken away. Because today you will locate the garment of salvation. In Jesus' name. Imprisonment says Athna FD. Imprisonment says Athna FD. Bondage says Ubongobasi Inameke Oko. Ubongobasi Inameke Oko. Bondage. Same thing at almost the same time. Athna FD type the word bondage also. Every bondage will be broken in Jesus' name. Every bondage will be broken as you put on the right garments of salvation. Every bondage will be broken over your life and broken over the life of your lover in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. So imprisonment, imprisonment, bondage, the Lord take away. In Jesus' name, praise God. Bound. So somebody that is held in, in captivity, bound, tied to something, Marsha Wilson is saying, captivity, bound. The garment will set you free. The garment will set you free. The garment did set Saul free. The garment set Saul free from what? From, from the bondage of, of killing, of killing innocently, of killing or ignorance. From the bondage of ignorance. He was delivered from the bondage of ignorance and the power of darkness. I see God delivering somebody. In Jesus' name, from the power of what? From the power of ignorance and the power of bondage. Bondage in Jesus' name. So bondage is over in your life, man of God. Bondage is over in our life. Praise God. Captivity, praise God. In chains, says Marsha Wilson. Captivity in chains. And that chains will be broken in Jesus' name. The garment coming will break every chain. Especially chains that cannot be seen with physical eye. That, those are the kind of worst chains to be on somebody. Emotional chain, mental chain. It is said that in a particular country, from when an elephant is little, they would tie a rope around the elephant's leg and tie to a tree from when it's a baby. So when the elephant tries to run like a baby, the rope will pull the elephant back. When the elephant springs forth to run, the rope will pull the elephant back. After several years, when this elephant is full grown, when the elephant is full grown, that even just moving one leg, it will uproot the tree. But because over the years, the, uh, the, the elephant knows that crossing a certain line comes with pain. When the elephant moves and gets to that point, the elephant will move back on its own. Because it knows beyond this point, there is something that used to happen sharply. But now the elephant is fully grown. He can even with the leg uproot the tree. With the trunk, he can uproot the tree. But because of that bondage, because of the chains from little, because of the emotional chains, limitation created. You see, the elephant can't think outside the box. But somebody under the sound of my voice, I don't know if psychologically, the familiar spirits, the powers in your lineage or in your community has created such incision or such you know, damage mentally or emotionally. Today, my God will make you think out of the box. As you wear the garments of salvation, you will think outside the box. That's why Bible said, Jesus said, you are a new creation. So that mentality that you have before, deleted. God will bring you fresh mentality that will make you do what you have never done before. Notice some men of God will tell people who are sick, try what you have never tried before. It takes only an emancipated mind to try it. Because when they want to try it, the demon will say, you remember the pain that comes with it. Remember the pain that comes with it. If you try it, you remember the pains. You remember how that guy left you. After you spend everything, you want to start spending to this guy. You remember how that woman left you. After all what you spent, you remember. You remember how after all the love you showed, how were you paid back? Now you are starting to fall in love again. Have you, you remember? Are you sure this one will not be like that? My God, take away that mentality from you. 
that spiritual bondage my God take away from you. That spiritual yoke, my God, take away from you. It's how many exams have you taken? You want to register for another exam again and you failed the way you used to fail. Let me tell you, this time when you register for the ex exam, you will pass so much that all the demons will faint in Jesus' name. Think like that. Think on those things that are pure, things that are right. That's what Philippians asks us to think about. Don't think on what the enemy wants you to think about. So sometimes... Mental bondage, spiritual bondage is the worst bondage ever. At least the one in your hand, everybody can see it. And whatever is off, is off. Everybody can see it's off. Like Acts chapter 16. Immediately, the chains fell off. Everybody knew the chains fell off in Acts chapter 16 in the prison. But you see the emotional one? Nobody will know. The same thing happened to the slaves. By the time announcement was made in America that all slaves were free. Some slaves, they were still bound in their brain. They said, where am I going? What do I know? Where am I going out there? I'd rather stay here. And they stayed there not knowing that they had equal rights of, of making it by the new law that had been made. Today, my God will make you a new creation. You will see yourself in a different light. The pain of yesterday, the emotional struggle and trauma of yesterday will not stop the joy of today and will not stop the joy of tomorrow. Don't look at your son with the eye of yesterday. Don't look at your daughter with the eye of yesterday. Don't look at your spouse with the eye of yesterday. Look at them the way God wants you to look at them today. And stop repeating the mistake they have made yesterday. Yesterday is come and gone. Today is a new day. Tomorrow is something to look up to. And I'm telling you, they will make you proud tomorrow. Don't look at how that business has failed over the years and think that business will forever fail because that business, as far as today is concerned, is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Somebody join me and say, all things have passed away. 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 And I'm explaining the word, all things have passed away. It's not easy. It's not easy for people to understand the word, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. It simply means if the elephant could have that me mentality that all things have passed away, then he would try something new every day he lives to see. I am challenging somebody today. Have this mentality that your yesterday is gone. Take the lessons from yesterday and explore today. And explore today. And get set to explore tomorrow. Don't look at that business with the eye of yesterday. Let me tell you that that business that couldn't make profit today can make millions for you just in 24 hours if the right garment of salvation is worn upon it once the lord wears the garment of salvation that business has become a new business it's has become a new business it's registered under a different name company name and everything spiritually that is a new business even in real life once you change the name of a business even without changing the location it becomes a new business completely you have to re-register it again with the necessary bodies you see so how much more spiritual a level. The Lord said, once the garment of salvation is worn upon your business, it's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Your marriage, once the Lord wear the garment of salvation upon it today, all things have passed away. Behold, all things must become new. Your mentality, your way of perceiving things, the way that you're analyzing things must change. Must change, must embrace the salvation of God. Hallelujah. And that's what God was rebuking Ananias. The Lord told Ananias, listen, you have to see this person called Saul in a different way. I just read it, Acts chapter 9 verse 15. I just read it. Go thy way. He's a chosen vessel unto me to bear my names before kings, before the Gentiles, before kings, and before Israelites. It's a new person, no? It's a, new, it's a brand new person, no? It's not the one that used to kill Christians. That's what the garment of, Christ, uh, garment of salvation can do, I mean to say. It makes you completely new. Though people still see you in the old body, but everything about you is new. Hallelujah. Everything about you is new. Look at just the hair I left. I personally did not know that my natural hair is like this. <laughs> I spoke with somebody today, and the person said, Apostle, I thought you have joined all those pastors. So I said, Which pastors? He said, All those pastors that do their hair. I said, God forbid. <laughs> I said, No, God is my witness. Touch it. It's my real hair. I don't know how to explain again, no. I don't know whether I should go back to the former hairstyle. What do you guys think? Should I go back to the former hairstyle? Should I cut it off? If you tell me to cut it off, I'll cut it off, oh. I don't want trouble, oh. Everybody's thinking that. He say, oh, I thought you have joined the other pastor. I said, what do you mean by the other pastor? That makes me know that some of these pastors are innocent. Some of, if I'm not involved, I will not know. You see? 
please stop generalizing. Stop assuming it's, it's the truth. I said, touch it. And then everyone, were, had, I, I permitted them touch and they touched my hair. They saw it. It's, it's my real hair. I'm a new creation. No? All things are passed away. Somebody will tell me, Apostle, that time you were leaving your Gori Makba hair. <laughs> Gori Makba means no hair on the head. So he said, Apostle, the time you are having a Gori Makba hair is totally different from now. I say, yes. As little as this hair is on this broadcast to those who know Apostle before now, do you know that spiritually, once you wear the garment of salvation, you are completely different. Completely. Completely different. There is no mix up with you and the former you. There is no how you try. Heaven can never make that error. God himself was the one attesting. God was the one testifying and telling Ananias, this person is a brand new person. This person is brand new in every sense. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Come with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 5. Corinthians chapter 5. It's a very simple scripture. Everybody knows it. It's not as if it is very difficult to comprehend. 2 Corinthians, please. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. I know some people, when I said the person touched apostle's hair, you say, I wish it's me touching the apostle's hair. If I see you, I will touch it. It's not a problem. It's the real hair. You can touch it. Look at it. It's the real hair. Touch it. It's not a problem. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, so the criteria for you being able to wear the garments of salvation is not being beside Christ, it's not being in front of Christ, it's not being be behind Christ, it's not being, being beside him. You must be in, inside. If any man is in, you must be in Christ, inside. That's it. For this word to catch up in your life. Therefore, if conditional statement, if conditional statement, if any man, if conditional statement, if conditional statement, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Somebody type the word new creation for us. Somebody type the word new creation. It's a new creation. New creation. New creation. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. All your past mistakes gone. All your past mistakes gone. All your obstacles gone. All your pain and shame gone. All your fears gone. In Jesus' name. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things have become new. All things have become new. All things have passed away. Somebody, you are a new person. Somebody, God has given you a new platform. A new platform. You are a new person. That your business, if you wear the salvation of Christ, if you wear the salvation Christ has made available to us, you will find out that that place that you have found yourself, you will perform beyond human comprehension. That is, you will perform and everybody will be wondering, where did this grace come from? You are a new creation. All things are passed away. Alpha and Omega bless your word. Alpha and Omega expand your word. Alpha and Omega make it simple for somebody under the sound of my voice to catalambano what the Spirit is saying to the church at this point in time. All things have become new. Oh Lord Jehovah, let somebody leave this mountain with that inner conviction. All things have become new. In our community, I don't care the statistics that anybody has to render. All things have become new. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Oh Lord, make all things new for us. Make all things new for us. Make all things new, oh God, in our community and nation. Make all things new, Alpha Omega, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wipe away tears on this holy mountain and do your will in Jesus' name. Amen. Salvation is very powerful. Salvation is very powerful. The price is not easy to contact. That's why Jesus had to come to pay that price for you and me so that myself and you can just enjoy the proceeds. The proceeds of salvation is what I am talking about. 
The blessings that come with the salvation Jesus has made available for you and me. You need to change your understanding. You need to change your mentality. You need to change the way you perceive things. You need to see yourself the way God sees you. Everything around you wants you to see yourself less whom God sees you. But you need to tell those things now that I'm a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm new in Christ Jesus. I'm new in Christ Jesus. And I will achieve in Christ Jesus. You will achieve in Christ Jesus. Somebody, a new creation. That's who you are. Please, that son you are bothered about, present that son today as we start to pray. And in the spirit, wear that child with the garment of praise. What do I mean? No matter how your garden is, for those who know what garden is, why we talk about garden of Eden, modern, modern way of handling gardens, no matter, even though you have been planting how many years in that garden, if you introduce fertilizer and introduce certain things into the soil, you will be amazed the kind of result you get. You will not even believe that it's the same garden you've been cultivating on for several years now. Just because of the garments you're wearing, in quote, on that, on that soil. Once you put certain garments, you put certain things to cover that soil or to be, to be part of that soil, all of a sudden, the result of that soil will be unimaginable. If only you can wear your son, the garment of what? The garment of salvation. Only if you can wear your daughter, if only you can wear your daughter, the garment of salvation. If you wear them in the spirit, they will manifest it in the physical. Wear them in the spirit. You are the, you are the person God has given right over them. Wear them in the spirit in Jesus' name. And you will see it happen. As a father, recommend your son, recommend your daughter. As a wife, recommend your husband. Husband, recommend your wife. That's why Bible commands us to pray for one another. Even it asks us to pray for those who are despisefully using us. And those who are persecuting us. Just to tell you how powerful your prayer can be. You can cover somebody who is persecuting you with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ and pray the salvation of God upon them and the person will repent and come and be begging you sorry for all what I've done to you it was in the time that I did not know you can saw what God did some set of people were praying and look at the way God arrested Saul if not Saul was going to Damascus to cause another havoc but when the garment of salvation was worn upon him when he got to Damascus people could not believe it's the same Saul somebody in the name of Jesus Christ come the end of this year people will not be able to believe that that's your that son of yours is the same son. Nobody will be able to believe that that your daughter is the same daughter because the garment of salvation will manifest the things necessary to be seen. Nobody will believe that that your husband is still the same husband just because you have worn the, the garment of salvation upon them in the spirit. I say nobody will believe that that your wife is the same woman when the Lord has worn the garment of salvation upon that woman. Somebody in the spirit, why not join me in the name of Jesus Christ? Picture that strong stronghold of your life. Picture that stronghold of your life and wear the garment of salvation upon that stronghold. Wear the garment of salvation upon that stronghold. We don't know. Bible did not make us know. Whether the prayer that wore the garment of salvation upon Saul, whether it came from Damascus or from the other Christians, we don't know. But what we do know, that that appearance of Jesus Christ was necessitated by somebody standing in the gap. I pray that somebody will stand in the gap today. I pray that you will not stand in the gap for judgment, but you stand in the gap for mercy. You stand in the gap for the grace of God to be seen. You stand in the gap for God to show his mercy and love again in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody under the sound of our voice, I pray that your prayer will necessitate an, an old, an old skin bottle to become a new wine skin an old skin bottle you know that an old skin bottle can never contain a fresh a fresh wine it will blow to pieces i pray on this mountain as you are standing in the gap with the apostle that the old skin of your son will be transformed to a brand new skin a new creation your old skin of your daughter i pray that it will be transformed to what a brand new skin to hold the oil to hold the wine which is the anointing to hold the anointing to hold the power of the Holy Spirit I pray that the old skin of your husband or the old skin of your, of your wife as you stand in the gap you present them and wear them the, the garment of salvation I pray to convert their skin to a new skin in Jesus name and may all evil mentalities may you not struggle with an evil mentality or with any negativity they are the same thing evil mentality 
or negativity. May you not struggle with it. Some people say, Apostle, if you know the amount of sin I've committed, if God here, God cannot forgive me. And I'm telling you today that there's no sin God cannot forgive. Because it was then, you then you did it, you were not, you were ignorant. In the days of ignorance, the Lord overlooked. If you come truly in repentance and you forsake your own way and embrace the new way, the Lord will not remember. All things have passed away. It has passed away. Even sometimes we go back to God to say, God, I actually did so and so. God said, I can't remember. He said, no, God, and I know you did not forget. Why are you pretending? Why are you pretending? I did so and God said, I cannot remember. I have forgiven you. I cannot remember. It is wiped clean. Just like a computer, when you reset computer back to factory setting, everything that you have stored in that computer will go. There is no how. Everything will leave that computer. That computer cannot remember anything. That's how God tends to behave with me and you when we embrace salvation in truth and in spirit. Praise God. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things are of God. All things are of God. All things are of God. Today in Jesus' name, embrace the salvation of God. Come with me to Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. In Jesus' name, Isaiah 61. Come with me to Isaiah 61. God wants to speak to somebody. If only you open up to God today. If only you open up to God today. Isaiah 61. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Praise God. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall, shall be joyful in my God. For he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments and as a bride adorned, adorned herself with her jewels. Praise God. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Today, if you are truly repenting, if you are truly forsaking your own ways, if you are truly embracing God, Isaiah 60 verse 10. Sometimes when I when the Holy Spirit open my eyes to see scripture like this, I actually wonder, but I've read this Isaiah 60, 61 several times. I know that double for your trouble is in this Isaiah 61 verse 7. I have read it several times and uh, each time God opened my eye and then God now showed me something. I'll be wondering, but is it not the same Isaiah that I've been reading all along? I have not come across this before. God is saying, I will greatly, I, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God for he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. Somebody today, if you are truly coming to God, you will not stop rejoicing. No, not Isaiah 60 verse 10. I said Isaiah 61. God bless you. Please help us correct that. Isaiah 61 verse 10. Isaiah 61 verse 10. Sorry if I'm speaking very fast. Forgive me. Forgive me. Isaiah 61 verse 10. I always like the scriptures to be correct because some people, they like what you have said and they want to see it in their own Bible. We have to give them opportunity to see it in their Bible also. Some people will mark it in their Bible. Some people will memorize it and say, oh, I love this verse. I want to know it also. I want to quote it if I'm in any situation. So we try to make sure that we get that scripture correct. Isaiah 61 verse 10. That's what I've just read. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. Thank you for retyping and thank you for typing all those who have typed Isaiah 60 verse 61 verse 10. Praise God. Okay, he says, so he says, I am joyful. I'm sorry when I'm preaching the message, I don't mention any name except Jesus. But at the end, I'm going to acknowledge all of you because you're all wonderful and beautiful in Jesus' name. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. God honor you. So look at this. He's saying, my soul shall be joyful in my God. My soul shall be joyful in my God. I prophesy to somebody, as you wear the garments of salvation this year, whether pandemic lies it or not, I prophesy into your soul, I prophesy into your spirit, that is the candle, this, the candle of God. I prophesy into that spirit. I prophesy into your soul that in Jesus' name, you will greatly rejoice. You will be full of joy in Jesus' name. You will greatly rejoice in your God. Your soul shall be joyful. You shall not be sorrowful. One of the things that the government can do for me and you is to take away any sorrow of any kind. 
In Jesus' name, I bind every power of sorrow. The garment, the garment, the garment, Ibalema Italimo Osake Branto Sikaba. The garment I'm talking about will bring that ability for you to be joyful in God. You can't be serving God and you are frowning. You can't be serving God and you have so much heaviness in your heart. Reach out again. That means you are far from the well of salvation. So in Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3. Isaiah 12 verse 3. Is the same thing with Isaiah 61 verse 10. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Isaiah 12 verse 3. Is the same thing with Isaiah 61 verse 10. Let me quickly go to Isaiah 12 verse 3. Let's just read to refresh the mind of everyone in the house. Isaiah 12 verse 3 says, Therefore with joy. Can you imagine that it is joy that is specified here? Therefore with joy ye shall draw. Ye shall draw from the wells of salvation. So here he did not call it garments of salvation. Here he calls it wells of salvation. So you can understand that the scripture is the same. All these things are just proverbial. They are proverbial. God is just saying it in a proverbial form. It's the same scripture for God's sake. And when the Holy Spirit opened my eye that this is what I want you to tell the church, I said, Holy Spirit, I, will, I have read this Isaiah 61 several times and I have not seen this verse in this, cap, in this capacity before. And the Holy Spirit said, that is why I want you to emphasize it to the church. That is why the blood speak over you, man of God. The blood speak over you and your household in a very beautiful way. God honor you. And everyone that is saying, Holy Ghost, take control, take over. The Holy Spirit, take control in a beautiful way. You will end this year with joy. You will end this year with peace. You will end this year with testimony. That is what Isaiah chapter 12 says that we will draw from. You will make withdrawal. It's just like you making withdrawal from your account. Do you know you can make withdrawal from the garments of salvation? You can make withdrawal from the wells of salvation. But if you do not have such account, if you are not saved, then you can, if you have not opened that account, you can't make withdrawal. It's only those who have account when they are in financial tightness, they make withdrawal from that account. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, and become a new creation such that all things have passed away and all things have become new then how can you make withdrawal today I present to somebody don't leave today and say I'll give my life tomorrow because you might be in dear need of joy supply you might be in dear need of joy supply so that you can make withdrawal like somebody makes withdrawal from the account you can make withdrawal for your son withdrawal for your daughter withdrawal for your spouse you can make withdrawal for your community and nation and your business hallelujah therefore with joy you will draw withdraw joy you will withdraw from the well of salvation okay so let's go back to Isaiah 61 verse 10 Isaiah 61 verse 10 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord my soul shall be joyful in my God for he had clothed me with garments of salvation may you not leave this mountain without being clothed with garments of salvation and in liking that garment of salvation to you know the way a bride will adorn herself with a decoration. The way a groom, a particular groom will decide to deck up himself, that's how it, God, God has decked you up. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the way that a farmer will make sure that the garden is ready for optimal productivity. That is how God is making sure that you are ready for optimal blessings this year. Garment of salvation is wearing you if only you reach out. Look at what he said. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness. So even if you call it wells of salvation, call it garments of salvation, or you call it robe of righteousness, they point to the same direction. Because of that robe of righteousness, the Holy Spirit can walk with you, can coin on near and walk with you, can be one with you and work with you. Without this rope of righteousness, the Holy Spirit will be at a distance and you don't want that to happen. Praise God. And as somebody that is adorned, ready for wedding, ready for their wedding ceremony, God has made you beautiful, ready for the purpose of God to come to pass in the land of the living. Come with me to 11 of Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 verse 11. Isaiah 61 verse 11. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61 verse 11. So what is the Spirit of God saying? For as the earth bringeth forth her board, 
and as the garden caused the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth all the nation. All the nation, you, me, everybody that is on this mountain. That is how God will cause, you know, praise to spring forth. This year is not a year of sadness for you and for me. This year is not the year of pain. This year is not the year of shame. This year is not the year of setback. Here it said, God, will, the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth. Righteousness because it will attract the Holy Spirit. And once the Holy Spirit comes, you must surely have a testimony. And that's why praise will follow. You shall praise the Lord. Once God has fulfill this in your life i am telling you people will be drawn to god naturally you don't need to force people to give their life to jesus as the earth look at the very simple example it used it said for as the earth bringeth forth her board and as the garden bringeth forth things that are sown into it to spring forth so you see with ease you don't need speaking in tongues over what over the earth to bring forth. You don't need speaking in tongues over the garden. Even if the garden is poor, let's say you've been sowing and sowing and sowing on that garden. What they would do is that they'll just put fertilizer. They'll put fertilizer. They will help the, the earth. I want they will help the earth or help that garden. And immediately you fix those things, the garden will bring forth, the garden will spring forth, the garden will revive. Somebody, I just want you to know when my God will wear you right now, when my God will wear you with righteousness. When my God will wear you the garments of salvation, every vision of God in your life will just come alive naturally. Every gift of God in your life will come alive naturally. The Lord is likening you and likening me to the earth. Today, in Jesus' name, may you be that earth that will bring forth. May you not be that earth that will be stagnant. May you not be that earth that will not showcase the glory, the power, and the grace of God. What is that earth also can be your business. What that earth can be also can be your son, your daughter, can be any member of your household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am just saying, man of God, I'm saying. I'm saying, woman of God, I'm saying that anything that the Lord has marked that will be your portion in this earth with ease, you are going to what? You are going to showcase that thing by fire by force in the name of jesus christ righteousness righteousness i prophesy in jesus name praise praise i prophesy let praise spring forth let's praise things spring forth in you in jesus name may you have result even better than the earth will have result hallelujah so you can see verse 10 very clearly it says i will greatly rejoice somebody say i will greatly rejoice this year prophesy you will greatly rejoice greatly rejoice you will greatly rejoice you will not greatly mourn you will not greatly be sad you will not greatly murmur you will greatly rejoice now, apart from being, apart from saying you greatly rejoice as is put right here, we can see, it also says very carefully, it says, my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Joyfulness, let us look at certain things that will confirm that word, rejoice and joyful. Let's clear some things that will, con con that will confirm that word, rejoice, rejoicing and joyful. Let's come to Galatians chapter 5 from verse two, 22 to 23. Okay, Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. What is the Spirit of the Lord saying? He said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, is joy and peace. Joy, joy, joy. That's where I'm going. Love, joy and peace. So when you're clothed with the garments of what? Of garments of what? When you're clothed with the garments of righteousness, there is that grace of God upon you to manifest the fruit of the Spirit. When you are clothed with the garment of what? Garment of salvation. Or when you're clothed with not just garment of salvation where you are able to draw from the well of salvation where you are able to draw from the well of salvation because of the righteousness there the holy spirit will come once the holy spirit comes then the fruit of the spirit will come then you can be joyful then you can have rejoicing and this time around you can now have more access you can have more access to things like love to things like joy to things like peace and we'll be prophesying peace and joy you have access to long suffering you have access to gentleness you have access to goodness you have access to faith you have access to meekness temperance and bible say against such you don't need there is no law when these people have this kind of thing they live above the law everyone wearing the garments of salvation live above the law because what they are practicing or what they are 
obeying is more than the human law. The spiritual law is more supreme. The spiritual law is more powerful than the physical law. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And that's why it says in conclusion, that particular Galatians, Galatians chapter 5 verse 25. In conclusion, so I've read Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, 23 and I'm going to read 25. Galatians 5 verse 22, 23, I'm going to read verse 25. In verse 25, which is the conclusion in this particular Galatians 5, I'm reading. Okay, in this Galatians 5 verse 25 says, If we live in the Spirit, and the capital letter S is what is typed. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit and we walk in the Spirit, you will always be clothed with the garments of what? With the garments of salvation. If you walk in the Spirit and if you are if you are if you are led in the Spirit, if you live in the Spirit and you walk in the Spirit, and that walk is W A L K. That is moving behind Hosea chapter 10, verse. Hosea chapter 11 verse 10, that we are walking behind the Lord, for we will walk after the Lord, and the lion will roar. So you see, if you walk after the Lord, W-A-L-K, that's the same walk here that Galatians chapter 5 verse 25 is talking about. It says, if we live in the spirit, let us also, W-A-L-K, Hosea chapter 10 verse 11, let us walk in the spirit. In the spirit means walk after the Lord. Walk in the spirit. If you walk in the spirit, then you are able to access the full meaning of a new creation. You can access the full meaning of all things are passed away. You can only catalambano that. You can only access it only in the spirit. In the flesh, I am telling you, it's not possible to access that. Only the spirit can get you to that level. Praise God. May I conclude today's broadcast at this time with the word of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 12. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 12. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 12. How important is the garment of salvation? How important is this wealth of salvation to you and me as a Christian? It is almost as important as life for us. So you cannot but put on the garments of salvation. You cannot but. You cannot but put it on. And you cannot catalambano without joy. And that joy is contained in the things that the Holy Spirit will bring. And that is when you embrace the righteousness of Christ in all totality if you give your life. Somebody is quite important you give your life today. And if you have given your life, stop playing church. Be serious with God. Be serious so that you are always wearing this garment because this will determine what your tomorrow and the tomorrow of your family will be. May I conclude as I said earlier on, Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might be strong to what extent what can make me strong when bible is talking about you and me be strong in the lord it is not by the power of might oh it's not by jimmy no it's not by running every morning that's not how to be strong that's why when he says finally brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might it's not by jimmy because all these things that we do physically does not count anything in the spiritual so much it is a different thing you do in the spirit realm that will register as energy for you. Yes, there are little things you are doing physically that will impact in our spiritual realm, I agree. But you must understand that it's not talking about physical exercise, for it profited little, but spiritual even much more. So what are we going to do? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. How are we going to be strong? And in the power of his might, how do we do that? That's verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. Here he calls it the whole armor. Here he calls the same, you know, you know, the garments of salvation or the wells of salvation. He calls it here the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that you'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on everything. Leave nothing out. It's all contained in the garments of salvation. Make sure you're not denied of any. Make sure you're not deprived of any. Put it on. You will consciously put it on. Man of God, are you sad today? Consciously confess positive things about yourself. Focus on the things God have done for you 
that is not common. Focus on this thing God have done for you that you cannot buy with money. And let your joy spring forth immediately. And watch what will happen before this week comes to an end. When the devil wants to show you where you fell, show them where Jesus made you to rise severally. And Bible said that if you fall, you fall unto the Lord. Only him is able to spring you up again. Let them know that your old you is gone. They are wasting their time pointing to your old you. Because you are no more in that position. You have moved. You have moved in Christ Jesus. You have changed position. You have changed location. You have changed position you have changed location. The angels are coming to look for you, not in the former place but in the new place because you are a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold all things have become new. So that's why it simply says that put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against what? Stand against the antics, the wiles of the devil, the antics, the, 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 the strategies, the manipulations, the, 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 the entire ideas, okay? So the antics, the ideas, the whole plan, the tricks, okay, the wiles of the devil, that's it. And in conclusion, in this same Ezekiel, um, um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is why it's very important. Because our, our fight is not a physical fight. And so that's why you need that spiritual assistance. And that's why you need that spiritual re, you know, reinforcement is the word I need. Spiritual reinforcement. Somebody type the word spiritual reinforcement. Your, spirit, your spiritual reinforcement is the garments of salvation. Your spiritual reinforcement can be taken from the wells of salvation. Your spiritual reinforcement is the whole armor of God that you meant, you're meant to put on. All this is anchored on 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If you are a new creation, if you have given your life to Jesus Christ today, yes, you are a new creation. Today, embrace. And what do I mean by giving my life to Jesus Christ? Let me quickly come there after explaining verse 12 of Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 12, Ephesians chapter 6 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. So, because of these principalities and power, we need spiritual reinforcement. Spiritual reinforcement. Remember that everything we are doing is all spiritual. First Peter chapter 2 verse 5, because we are a lively stone, forming what a spiritual house. A spiritual house full of what? A holy priesthood. A holy priesthood serving God what? Serving God spiritual sacrifices. So a spiritual house full of, a, full of what? Lively stone of what? Of a holy priesthood presenting to God what? Our spiritual sacrifices. That's why we need that spiritual reinforcement so that these principalities and powers will not make a shipwreck. So that they will not make a waste of our sacrifices unto the Lord. So that they will not make a shipwreck. They will not make useless our serving the Lord that is meant to be in spirit and in truth. Somebody under the sound of my voice. You cannot but respond to the call of God at this point in time. And so that is what we are doing. We are ensuring that we put on the whole armor of God. That we may be able to stand all the tricks of the enemy. To pull down your children. To pull down your loved ones. To pull down your business to create the wrong impression about you about your tomorrow to make you feel that it's a waste just standing and worshiping and calling upon the name of god how long have you been calling just ignore put on and re reinforce your joy when the petrol runs out of the car you don't think twice you take the car to the gas station and you just put the oil again so from the garments of salvation let your oil, let your oil of joy be topped up let your oil of praise be topped up let your oil of you know faith in god be topped up be decked up for tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. And do not allow bondage emotionally to keep you. Do not allow bondage spiritually to keep you. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. All these things work together for good. It's working for your good. Man of God, woman of God. All this is working together for your good because you love the Lord. Because you are called according to his purpose. So that is why somebody today, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ before leaving this mountain. And if you have been playing church, stop playing church. You need the garments of salvation. You need it every day. It does not matter whether somebody has served God for 20 years or for 30 years. Every time the enemy is trying to take away that joy, knowing how it will make me and you deficient. Immediately joy is taken away from you and me or peace. He knows how it will make me and you deficient. And may I say that joy and peace is just a coded word. You see that in Isaiah 55 verse 12. That coded word joy and peace. Go and look at the full complete package in the Holy Spirit. As we as you read Galatians chapter 5 verse, verse 
22 and 23. That's the full package summarized in just joy and peace. Joy and peace. So that's why I say you'll be led forth in joy and then you will you will go, go with peace. You see, but you need to go to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23 to Catalambano, what Isaiah 55, verse 12 is talking about. So Isaiah 55, verse 12 is talking about it in a coded form, in a coded form. But when you go all the way down to, to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, I just read to you, in Jesus name, I just read earlier on, you will fully catalambano everything coded in Isaiah 55 verse 12 for ye shall go out with joy now if you do not have the if you do not have, if you don't have the fruit of the spirit, how would you get the joy to go out with, and if you do not have this joy, if you don't have garments of salvation, how would you get this joy, so you must have given your life you must have been clothed with the robe of righteousness for the Holy Spirit to come and bring to you joy. That's why I say you go out with joy. You see, you go out with joy. That's why you cannot fail each time you go out because you went out with joy. And then he said you'll be led forth with peace. But you see, this is just two things mentioned. You'll be led out in, you go forth in joy and led forth in peace. Then he said the mountains will clap, it's, it's, uh, the mountain and the hills will break forth before you in singing. You can imagine. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands but you see this is two out of how many let us look at the full package of what you will go out with and be led forth with what you will go out with and be led forth with let's look at the full package the full package is in galatians chapter 5 verse 22 what is the full package it says the fruit of the spirit is it started with love so you go forth with love you'll be led with peace so you go forth in love so the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace but there it mentions only joy and peace but here you will find out that there is love there is joy there is peace there is long suffering there is greatness there is goodness there is faith meekness temperance against these against such there are no laws so definitely because you have something that the the earthly laws cannot hold you bound you are against this there's no law that's why the mountains and the hills will break forth in singing when they see you. Whoa! Hallelujah! 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 Just by seeing you. Imagine them singing like that for seeing you. But it's when they see you, they see the fruit of the Spirit. That's what the Bible is saying. They see the garments of salvation. So they break forth in singing. And all the trees, imagine everybody in the stadium as you walk into the stadium. Everybody, all the trees start to clap their hands. Wow! <laughs> Hallelujah! Wow! Bible is real. God is saying this year you'll be celebrated. But that is if you have salvation. If you have the garments of salvation. If you have access to the wells of salvation. You'll be celebrated this year. I did not say so. Your Father God Almighty says so. So if you like to give your life to Jesus Christ. What is salvation? Me accepting that Jesus died for me. He took my place. And gave me his own place. John 3, 16, one of the most popular scripture all over the world. Could just explain better to anybody under the sound of my voice. John 3, 16, very simple. And I pray that it will be real. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, whosoever, whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Are you ready to believe in him? Have I been able to bring the word of God to your notice such that it has caught your attention? For God so loved you and me that he gave his only begotten son to bring about that salvation I'm talking about. That whosoever believeth, all you need to do is believe. Whosoever believeth in him will not perish. No more will you be under bondage. No more will you be under evil clothing. Now you will be under the garments of salvation. Now you will be under, you know, the garment of salvation. Having access to the wells of salvation, you will never be thirsty. This year you will not be thirsty of any spiritual blessing, spiritual gift, emotional blessing, emotional gift. You will not be thirsty in Jesus' name. This year is your year to break forth. This year your business will not ever see all those things you used to see. Clothe it with the garments of what? With the 
the garment of salvation. Let your, Christ, let your business be born again. Let your business do what God will do on earth. And let's see if you make profit this year or not. Let your business embrace God. Stop chasing after money and forget the glory of God. Let the glory of God be your priority and see if money will not chase you. Because God said that he will open the windows of heaven over you and pour you out blessings you cannot contain. It will make a difference between him that is wearing the garments of salvation and the him that is not wearing the garment of salvation. Malachi chapter 3 verse 18. Are you ready for this Malachi 3 verse 18 to be real in your life? Embrace John 3 16. God loves you so much. Accept that Jesus has taken away your sin because he died for your sin and then accept his his robe of righteousness and accept the righteousness of Christ Jesus Christ today and salvation will be made available unto you. Let your business become born again today. As you go to your business tomorrow, make sure you change all those prizes that are satanic. Change all your satanic prizes and put godly prizes. Put a reasonable gain on everything you are selling and I stand by you in prayer and God will stand by you. Holy Spirit will stand by you. You will not only su be successful in your business, you will establish other businesses for people in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your son in Jesus' name, don't see your son as evil. He says the black sheep of the family. When you have named that child the black sheep, you now want to, you, what do you expect from a black sheep? Call that child by the name God called that child. Don't call that child stupid. Don't call that child mad. Don't call that child crazy. Don't call that child. I regret giving back to you. Once you give those kind of names, you see, what can heaven do? But today, see your son and see your daughter. See your husband. See your wife as a new creation. Give them room again because there's a brand new wife in your old wife. There's a brand new husband in your old husband. There's a brand new son in your old son. There's a brand new daughter in your old daughter. There's a brand new business in your old business. Let me tell everyone that is in my world and in my situation and and in this circumstance, we find ourselves all over the world. That there's a new world waiting for us in this world that has been blanketed with the power of pandemic. A new world is coming. And it will be sweeter than what the pandemic came to destroy. Why? Because the Bible says, the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. Somebody, we are going somewhere. Whenever you see the devil fight you, know that it's because you carry something. Because he doesn't waste his time with people who carry nothing. When you see the devil fighting your son, it's because your son has a glorious future. Don't give up on that son. God did not give up on me and you. Don't give up on your daughter. God did not give up on me and you. Don't give up on that business. God did not give up on me and you. He sent his only begotten son. If God has done that, there's nothing he will withhold from you and me. Embrace salvation so that you wear the garments of salvation, so that you can catalambo the fullness of what? Of the blessings of Galatians 5 verse 22 that Isaiah 55 verse 12 talked about. I know everybody wants the mountains and the hills to break forth in singing for you. You want them to sing when they see you. And you want the trees to clap. But it will not happen if myself and you do not have the joy and the peace. You go forth in joy. You will be led forth with peace. But that it simply means you will be led by the Spirit. That's what it means. When you are led by the Spirit, you have joy. You have peace. And you will now have other things mentioned in Galatians 6. Galatians 5 verse 22. You have love. You have love. You have joy. You have joy. You have peace. You have peace. You have long suffering. You have long suffering. You have patience. You have gentleness. You have goodness. You have temper. Because you are led by the Spirit. And the Spirit will clothe you with the garment of the, of the salvation. You see? Praise God for somebody. If you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, please say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Hallelujah. This is the process of Romans chapter 10 verse 9 For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation This is the process And in John chapter 17 verse 22 He said I do not pray for these ones that are before me only But I also pray for those who by the words of their mouth will believe in me So as you are confessing with the words of your mouth You are included in the prayer of Jesus Christ in John chapter 17 verse 20 And you have fulfilled the process Romans chapter 10 verse 9 of receiving salvation Say with me Lord Jesus I come before you I confess every sin that I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus Christ. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Today I accept that Jesus died on the cross for my sake and he took my place. And today I receive the righteousness made available through Jesus Christ for me. Say every covenant that I have entered into consciously and unconsciously, I denounce, I confess, 
and may the power of the Holy Spirit scatter and the blood of Jesus speak better things concerning me. May the power of the Holy Spirit scatter, scatter and destroy every covenant I've entered into. I believe one more time that Jesus died for me, was buried for my sake and for my sake he was lifted from the grave. Say with me, man of God, woman of God. Say with me, say I am born again. Hallelujah. Say with me, say I am born again. Hallelujah. One more time, man of God, woman of God. Say with me, I am born again and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. If you would like to dedicate your life unto Jesus Christ, please say with me, say I dedicate Say, I dedicate. Say, I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha Omega. Beginning and the end, and it is binding in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Alpha Omega, beginning and the end, I want to thank you for your mercy, for your glory. I want to thank you for your power upon your church, upon your people. I'm thanking you, O Lord God Almighty, because your glory is in our life. You said in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, for as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. As many that are led by the Spirit, Isaiah 55, verse 12, says, so you, you will go forth, you be led forth with joy and you'll be you know you'll be led forth you will go forth in joy and be led with peace which is led by the spirit and once we are led by the spirit Mm, the garment of salvation is made available. Today, oh God, let your people indeed be a new creation. According to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And I'm prophesying and decreeing that Lord in Jesus' name, above the Lord your people will be. Above the Lord they will be. And indeed, the mountains and the hills will break forth in singing, seeing them through this year. And the, hill, the trees also will clap their hands, seeing them through this year, because they are led by the Spirit. Mara daddy help us to think outside the box especially those who are emotionally bound father let that bondage oh god be broken today let the one bound be unbounded emotionally let the one bound in the spirit be unbounded right now in the name of jesus christ and think the way they are meant to think think about your son think about your home think about your business the way you want them to think and embrace what you alone can do alpha omega beginning and the end hear me oh God hear your church and wipe away anything and everything that is not in compliance with your will for your church in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. Holy Spirit take control, take over. Alpha Omega I pray for everyone that, has, that is dedicating their life unto you today. Oh Lord as they dedicate their life unto you. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy over and reveal yourself powerfully in Jesus' name. Everyone under the sound of my voice going out, coming in, let it be led by you. And let testimony be our default in Jesus' name. Joy unspeakable, I prophesy. Joy. Joy unspeakable in Jesus' name. Every prayer mandate I soak with the power, with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Every prayer mandate in Jesus' name. Everyone that is under the sound of my voice, I decree, declare. I declare, decree. Have your way. Take control. Take control. Have your way. Do what you alone can do, ancient of this Alpha Omega. Even those in the hospital prison home, I ask for your blessings upon them right now. Even those who are not able to pray, oh Lord, we stand in the gap for them. Alpha Omega, let the blood speak over us and our household. Daddy, thank you, oh God, for the understanding you've granted us on this mountain. Thank you for every man that is sharing the broadcast, everyone that is typing, everyone that is pressing, emoji compressing, like pressing love, everyone on this holy mountain that is supporting the work, oh God, making sure that your work gets to where it ought to get to. Everyone that have a mind to support and cannot for now. Daddy, let your blessing come upon any and everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, oh God, for putting testimony in our mouth. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your power and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree, Lord God Almighty, that everyone that is healing, everyone that is eternal, everyone looking up unto you, do what you alone can do in Jesus. Name. I release the apostle benediction upon you, man of God, woman of God, in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your house, upon whatever you are finding to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Omega, beginning and the end grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace. The Lord grant each and every one of us and everyone we represent on this mountain peace joy now and forevermore all the fruit of the spirit the lord clothe us with the garments of salvation the lord make us access the wealth of salvation in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so shall it be in jesus name i've decreed amen praise god praise god hallelujah 
I appreciate every one of you praying along with the apostle. A little assignment took me off guard today, and that's why we started slightly late. But I really celebrate and I appreciate your understanding. And I know God who see in the secret will reward each and every one of us bountifully. Thank you, everyone that God have used in different capacity. And those who wanted to help and cannot help for now, God knows, and yet God bless you because God sees your heart. David said, I want to build a house for you, and has not even built the house. The Lord said, No. Don't build. But because you have a mind to build for me, I will bless you. Because David had already gone into another assignment of exterminating God's enemy. And the Lord said, there's blood in your hand. But let me prepare a vessel from you that will build the house for me, which is like you still building the house. So the thoughts that you have only has attracted the blessings of God upon you. Because you wanted to, but you don't have the grace or the means to. And the Lord knows. But for all those who have the grace and the means to, and they go ahead to do it, again, the truth is that God will honor you. Because you've decided to to make God first in everything. You have put God first. Seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. May God honor you, man of God. May God honor you, woman of God. May God honor your children. May God honor every works of your hand in Jesus' name. This year is a year of turnaround for you and your household. Whether the devil likes it or not. Who doesn't like it can go and hug the transformer or kiss a life wire. Go punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. God loves you. That's it. And God is madly in love with you. There's nothing anybody can do about it. That's it. God loves you so much. And he will do anything for your success. And I know you're going to be successful this year. I will be successful equally in Jesus' name. If you're watching me on the YouTube, please do, do subscribe to the YouTube channel now. Just help us do that. That's how the algorithm works in the YouTube. So it helps us to produce more quality content for you by the message of God. Also, press that red button. A bell down there. That way you know when we have new upload in Jesus' name. If you have not been to the YouTube, just type Unbounded House into the YouTube search engine and then you see something like Unbounded House Live, click on it and then you'll be able to see and peruse what we are, what God has helped us to do on the YouTube. We're going to be, I'm sorry for those who waited for the live broadcast yesterday. Well, that's how I was led yesterday. There was no live broadcast, but I believe God, the next one, the Holy Spirit would put things in place for us. I don't like to come if he didn't command me. I don't want to come and tell God's people he said, and I'm not really you know, hearing anything. No, I won't do that. God forbid. So Tuesday, I'm believing that the Holy Spirit would make that nice, you know, um, atmosphere for us and instruct and then we can follow. But tomorrow is again on Facebook. We are meeting and it's a healing and deliverance service. Make sure you come in. Make sure you invite somebody. Make sure you make the broadcast reach those who need it because we believe in believing in saving not less than trillions and billions and trillions of life, but by starting with one person. We believe that the broadcast will win even one more soul or make somebody, one more person, close to God. Praise God. So everyone that wants to be part of tomorrow's broadcast, for example, on Facebook, come to the YouTube, to the Facebook search engine. Type at Jumbo Isong, at J-U-M-B-O-I-S-O-N-G. And as you do this in Jesus' name, you see the page will come up and that is Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP. Like and follow that page and you'll be able to access tomorrow's broadcast or you can come to my facebook profile world jumbo is song in bracket uyota you would see a link there of course or you can see the share of the broadcast be part of it in jesus name praise god okay permit me to sign out my usual way before saying the next thing i'm going to say god punish the devil punish 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 the lord rebuke the devil rebuke 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 in jesus name listen some people are using the name of men of god wrongly we didn't send anybody if they contact you just use wisdom. No, we didn't send them. Okay, but if you need to contact the apostle, use the number plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four. You can use WhatsApp to contact us. God bless you. My name is Apostle Jumbo Isong, and I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. A quick shout out to everybody out there. Out there. Sandra O, oh, I want to thank God for your life. Sandra O, oh, God bless you. Athna FD, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Alt Smith, God bless you. 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 God honor you. God lift you. Athna, God bless you. Mark James, God bless you. IQ. Equa a okon. God bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. Gloria Ifoma, God bless you. Gloria Ifoma AO. God bless you. Hallelujah. <coughs>
Masha Wilson, God bless you, God bless you. Nicholas B, God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God honor you, God honor you. S, Raymond, God bless you. If I see a typing from you, I quickly acknowledge because I can't see all the names. But just know whether I mention your name or not, or I mention your name or not, we love you and God loves you. God honor you, God lift you up. Naomi, Naomi M, how are you? God bless you, Naomi. Nice to see you on the mountain. Hallelujah. God bless you, bless you, bless you. God honor you. Sandra, I see you and your amen is permanent in Jesus' name. Okay, I leave you all in the hands of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. God bless you, R.T. Smith. I see you. God bless you, God bless you. God bless you, R.T. Smith. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Bye-bye.